Hi, I'm Jeremy Jewell. I'm with our Fluidy company. I'm an applications engineer and product specialist for our collaborative robot lines. Under the Move tab, most commonly you would tell the robot to make moves in a map. So we can click on Move and in the mission, this move to position A was generated. We can go in and edit that with this little cog, and we can change that from position A to position B, or a dock, or maybe even to the charger, if we just want to move the robot around in the map. We can also adjust how many tries it takes until it, it, it fails or um, gives up in its attempts. Uh, we can also change the threshold and how accurate the robot is to meet that position marker or, or achieve that position. When we're all set, we can hit validate and close and go on to adding more items into your mission. Again, in the move tab, we can also tell the robot to do a relative move. Here, we can tell the robot to drive in an X or a Y or an angular direction. We can adjust its speed and any uh, rotational speeds as well. We can temporarily turn off collision detection if we're going through very tight corridors and we need the robot to follow command even though it might get too close for its normal comfort zone. We also tell the robot when to go to a dock in this move tab. In the docking procedure, we can dock to a charger, or we can talk to any other marker available, or we can dock to a current position if, if there's a marker out there that, that we know that it needs to dock to at that moment. Uh, we can also tell it different types of uh, docks to uh, accommodate. And we, again, we can adjust the speed here as well. Another item in the Move tab we would use quite often is Set Footprint. When going through tighter corridors or uh, stricter space, restricted space, we may want to adjust the footprint slightly to be larger or smaller than, than what it actually is at that moment. That is uh, basically the top-down view of how the robot looks in the map. Uh, another thing that we might want to do in the Move tab is to switch maps. If we are going from one area of a very, very large facility to another, we may actually have to create two different maps to accommodate that extra-large environment. That is very rare. I have not had to do that ever but it is an option but uh, more commonly it's used for a, a system that's going into a building that has elevators and we need to go from one floor to another so the robot would enter the elevator and then it would open the doors and it would know where it is on that floor because each floor is going to look differently of course